How to Read Palms Palm reading, otherwise known as palmistry or chiromancy, is something that's practiced all over the world. It has its roots in Indian astrology, and Roman fortune telling. The objective is to evaluate, a person's character, or future by studying the palm, of their hand. Whether you're an aspiring palm reader, or you're just looking, for a fun way to pass the time, and impress your friends, even you can learn, to gain insight just, by holding someone's hand. Deciphering the Lines 1. Choose a hand. In palmistry, it is thought that, for females, the right hand, is what you're born with, and left is what you've accumulated, throughout your life. For males, it is the other way around. The left hand is what you're born with, and the right is what you've accumulated, throughout your life. That being said, you can also, choose whichever hand is dominant, to be your present past life hand, the non-dominant hand would then, be your future life hand. There are different schools, of thought on the matter. Some say the left hand shows potential, and what could be not necessarily, what will be. And a difference in the hands, could mean one is, or is about to take action when it comes to their lives, changing it. 2. Identify the four major lines. There may be breaks in them, or they may be short, but at least, three of them are there. 1. The heart line. 2. The headline. 3. The lifeline. 4. The fate line. Only some people have this. 3. Interpret the heart line. This line can be read in either direction from the pinky finger to the index finger, or vice versa depending on the tradition being followed. It's believed to indicate emotional stability, romantic perspectives, depression, and cardiac health. The basic interpretations are as follows. Begins below the index finger, content, with love life. Begins below the middle finger selfish, when it comes to love. Begins in the middle, falls in love easily. Straight, and short less interest in romance. Touches lifeline, heart is broken easily. Long and curvy, freely expresses emotions and feelings. Straight and parallel to the headline, good handle on emotions. Wavy, many relationships and lovers, absence of serious relationships. Circle on the line, sadness or depression. Broken line, emotional trauma. Smaller lines crossing through heart line, emotional trauma. 4. Examine the headline. This represents a person's learning style, communication approach, intellectualism, and thirst for knowledge. A curved line is associated with creativity and spontaneity, while a straight line is linked with practicality and a structured approach. The basic interpretations are as follows. Short line prefers physical achievements, over mental ones. Curved, sloping line, creativity. Separated from lifeline, adventure enthusiasm for life wavy line short attention span deep long line thinking is clear and focused straight line thinks realistically donuts or cross in headline emotional crisis broken headline Inconsistencies in thought. Multiple crosses through, headline, momentous decisions. 5. Evaluate the lifeline. This begins near the thumb, and travels in an arc towards the wrist. It reflects physical health, 
general well-being, and major life changes, for example, cataclysmic events, physical injuries, and relocation. Its length is not associated with length of life. The basic interpretations are as follows. Runs close to thumb, often tired. Curvy, plenty of energy. Long, deep vitality. Short, and shallow manipulated by others. Swoops around in a semicircle strength, and enthusiasm. Straight, and close to the edge of the palm, cautious when it comes to relationships. Multiple lifelines, extra vitality. Circle in line indicates, hospitalized or injured. Break, sudden change, in lifestyle. 6. Study the fate line. This is also known as, the line of destiny, and it indicates the degree, to which a person's life, is affected by external circumstances, beyond their control. It begins at the base of the palm. The basic interpretations are as follows. Deep line, strongly controlled by fate. Breaks and changes, of direction prone, to many changes in life, from external forces. Starts joined to lifeline, self-made individual. Develops aspirations early on. Joins with the lifeline, around in the middle signifies a point at which one's interests must be surrendered to those of others starts at base of the thumb and crosses lifeline support offered by family and friends one determine the hand shape each hand shape is associated with certain character traits the length of the palm is measured from the wrist to the bottom, of the fingers. The basic interpretations, are as follows. Earth broad, square palms, and fingers, thick or coarse skin, and ruddy color, length of the palm equals length, of fingers. 1. Solid values and energy, sometimes stubborn. 2. Practical, and responsible, sometimes materialistic. 3. Work with their hands, comfortable with the tangible. Air square, or rectangular palms, with long fingers, and sometimes protruding knuckles, low set thumbs, and dry skin, length of the palm, less than length of fingers. Sociable, talkative, and witty. Can be shallow, spiteful, and cold. Comfortable, with the middle, and the intangible does things in different and radical ways. Water long, sometimes oval shaped palm, with long, flexible, conical fingers, length of the palm equals the length, of fingers, but is less than the width, across the widest part of the palm. 1. Creative, perceptive and sympathetic. 2. Can be moody, emotional and inhibited. 3. Introverts. Do things quietly and intuitively. Fire square, or rectangular palm, flushed, or pink skin, and shorter fingers, length of the palm is greater than length, of fingers. 1. Spontaneous, enthusiastic, and optimistic. 2. Sometimes egoistic, impulsive and insensitive. 3. Extroverts. 4. Do things boldly and instinctively. Creative, perceptive and sympathetic. Can be moody, emotional and inhibited. Introverts. Do things quietly and intuitively. 2. Look at the mounts. That's what the fleshy bit, below your fingers are called, 
on the opposite side, of your knuckle. To make them visible, cup your hand just a bit. Which one is the largest? 1. A high venous mount, the one under your thumb, indicates a predisposition, for hedonism, promiscuity, and the need for instant gratification. A non-existent venous mount indicates little interest, in family matters. 2. The mount under your index, finger is called the Jupiter mount. If this is well developed, it means you are dominant, possibly self-centered, and aggressive. A lack of one means, you lack confidence. 3. Under your middle finger, is the Saturn mount. A high mount shows you're stubborn, cynical, and prone to depression. If it is low, it's an indicator, of superficiality, and disorganization. 4. The Sun mount, is under your ring finger. You're quick-tempered, extravagant, and prideful if you have, a high sun mount. A low sun mount means, you lack imagination. 5. The Mercury mount, is under your pinky. If it's protruding, you talk too much. A low mount means the opposite, you're shy. 6. None of this, is based on science. And your hands are known, to change throughout time. Don't take any of it too seriously. 3. Examine the hand and finger size. Relative to the size, of the body, some say, that small hands are active, and don't dwell on thinking, about what to do. Large hands are, on those who are contemplative and slow to action. 1. Remember, this is relative to the body. If you're 8 feet 2.4 meter tall, 2.4 meters, you're going to have bigger hands, than a 4 year old. It's all proportional. 2. What's more, long fingers may be an indicator, of anxiety, in addition to being well mannered, good looking, and delicate. Short fingers, are found on those who are impatient, highly sexed, and creative. 3. Long fingernails, on the other hand, mean you're kind, and a good secret keeper. Short fingernails, mean you're critical, and sarcastic. If they're almond shaped, you're sweet, and diplomatic. Thank you, for watching our video. Please, like, and share and subscribe.